Estado, asunto separado. Iglesia, Estado, asunto separado. Iglesia, Estado, asunto separado. After decades of struggle, legal abortion is finally within reach in Argentina. Argentine President Alberto Fernandez is all set to present a bill to decriminalize abortion in the country. This is the first time that a head of state in Argentina will present a bill of this nature and it will be a significant breakthrough for the long-demanded abortion rights in the country. The president will also propose a project that will guarantee integral care and support to mothers and newborns as well as ensure effective sexual education in schools to prevent unwanted pregnancies and guarantee women's self-determination. Argentine women, activists, feminist movements and social organizations celebrated the announcement with hope. Abortion is illegal in Argentina, although a 1921 decree allows it to be performed until the 24th week of gestation in case of a rape and when the life of a pregnant woman is at risk. However, abortion continues to take place in Argentina. More than 500,000 abortions are performed every year, with the majority of them being carried out in unsafe and clandestine conditions. The fatality rate from clandestine abortions is very high due to the poor sanitary conditions in which they are performed. The women who are forced to resort to unsafe and clandestine abortions are generally the most marginalized. Poor women, peasant women, indigenous women, Afro-descendant women, sex workers, lesbians, bisexuals, transgender, and queer people. Even in cases where abortion is legal, safe abortions are not always guaranteed, as different provinces, some health centers, and professionals refuse to comply with it due to religious and moral objections. In 2018, during the previous far-right government of Mauricio Macri, Argentina witnessed several protests demanding legalization of abortion. Tens of thousands took to the streets in massive campaigns demanding their rights. In June 2018, the bill for voluntary termination of pregnancy was approved by the House of Representatives with 129 legislators supporting it and 125 opposing it. However, in August 2018, the Senate rejected the bill by a margin of 38 to 31, denying hundreds of thousands the right to legal, safe and free abortion. However, this year, with a progressive president in power and his support for this integral right, the determination of Argentine women, lesbians and non-binary people to fight for the right to choose for their bodies and their lives has been strengthened. This March 8th, on International Day of Women's Struggle, Argentine Feminist Movement, the National Campaign for the Right to Legal, Safe and Free Abortion, organized a cultural and political day to promote the new voluntary termination of pregnancy bill and to demand the implementation of the law on comprehensive sexual education. Under the slogan of the bill is on the streets, various cultural, informative and recreational activities were carried out all through the day in preparation for the fight that would begin in the Congress as well as on the streets when the head of the state would present the bill. In the capital, Buenos Aires, Thousands of women, feminists and members of left-wing parties demonstrated with green scarves in hands, the symbol of feminist struggle for legal abortion in front of the Buenos Aires Cathedral. On March 9, women, transgender people and genderqueer people across Argentina observed a national strike and halted their activities to demand this integral human right, as well as an end to gender-based violence. In 2020, so far at least 68 women have been murdered mostly by current or former partners.